Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today I'm here with Jupecraft Gaming. This is the second video in a series of tutorial videos on how to use Game Studio Maker to make a fairly simple game. So, in this video, um, I'm going to be doing ammo, making your character shoot, making bullets usable, as well as I'm going to comment real quick on the last video I made. Um, Alright, so if you haven't already, you probably want to watch this video in HD so you know what's going on. And I don't know why I'm messing with stuff. And um, well, I just want to comment on something that I said in the last video that isn't exactly correct. Now, in the first video that I made, I kind of talked about how you should name your sprites SPR. Well, I said you have to name your sprite sprites SPR underscore whatever, and then your objects OBJ underscore whatever. Really, you can name them anything you want. Um, I just believe it's good to get into the habit of labeling your objects from your sprites because it'll help you later on down the line. Um, so, yeah. Regardless, let's just get started. Um, I already made our little bullet. It's just a triangle. And we're going to make it spin. And probably the next episode we're going to make it spin. It's fairly simple, but I just don't feel like adding it to this video. And this is our ammo pack, which is just like a blue square with teal trim and a red A for ammo. Alright, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to change our bullet to an object by hitting our object thing. And I'm going to name it OBJ Bullet to match. But you guys, again, can name anything you want. doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click Add Event, um, Create, which is upon creation. And we're going to go over to Control on the side. And uh, this is going to be a little, little, little bit of coding. Not too much. It's going to be fairly simple. As a side note, in the description is going to be the order of all the different things I type here. So if you just want to copy and paste it, it'll be there for you. Um, so yeah, we're going to type move underscore towards underscore point, com wait, parentheses, sorry, mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y comma 10, close parentheses, and then semicolon. Now let me just explain to you what this does. Move towards point. It means that basically the bullet is going to move to wherever your mouse is at a speed of 10. So when your mouse is up here and you click, which I'll show you, mouse is up here and you click, it'll go towards that mouse point wherever you clicked. So once that's done, we'll hit check. And we're going to add one more thing. We're going to click add event, other, outside room. And then we're going to go to main one and bring in our little destroy the instance. And we're going to leave it ticked itself and click OK. And that makes it so that if the bullet gets shot outside of the room, it doesn't stay there in oblivion forever because it'd get lonely in oblivion. So then we hit OK. And OK. There we go. So now we have that done. We probably should make it so that our player can actually shoot the bullet. You know, it'd be good for it too. So we're going to click add event. And we're going to click mouse, global mouse, global left pressed. Once we have that open, we're going to go to control, drag in our little execute code, piece of code, paper, and we're going to type if global, if I can spell global, if global dot ammo is greater than zero, fancy bracket, instance underscore create parentheses x comma y comma obj underscore bullet close parentheses semicolon now where I have obj bullet you'd have whatever your bullets called and then we're gonna hit enter again and I'm gonna type global global dot ammo negative equals one semicolon and then last line we're gonna enter last line we're gonna close the fancy brackets and then we're gonna hit okay now we're going to add more thing we click create so upon creation add in some code here and then globe global dot ammo equals and I'm going to put 10. Basically, he's going to start out with 10 pieces of ammo upon creation. And then 
Okay. Now, next, we're going to add in our ammo pack. And we're going to hit our OBJ, our object button. I'm going to call it OBJ underscore ammo. And I'm going to select my ammo pack. And then, add event. Collision. Collision with the player. And then we're going to create some code. So throw back in our code. We're going to put global dot ammo plus equals. Let's do 12. And so, okay. So when it collides, that's what we're going to get. And also in here, we're going to have it destroy on instance, destroy itself when it collides. So we're going to hit okay. So now, now we've got our ammo, we've got our bullets, we've got our player. Um, we can test it out, but first we're gonna need to add a room. So we have we, we have a room. We're gonna have to add them to the room. So it's already selected for me, but if you need to select it, it's right here. We just select our little ammo packs, and we're gonna put one. Let's put in three, and hit OK, and now it's at play. To test it out, make sure everything worked. So we got our player. It can shoot. All right, ran out of bullets. Hey, look, we got more. Whoop. And you can accumulate bullets. You can get all three and then just whoop. There you go. Um, real quick, basically, a way to make your bullet rotate would be here. You'd click Edit Sprite. And then I believe it's animations and then rotation sequence clockwise. We can do it. We can test some things out. Menu right here. Um, let's show preview. That looks pretty good actually. And hit OK. Hit OK. And I believe that should do it. Now our bullet should spin. Yep. So that's just a simple thing. I wasn't going to add it in this video, but guess what? I did. Do, 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 do. And there you have it. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit like. Um, and feel free to comment if you have any questions this far. If you have any issues, I'll probably reply to you in a video message, as I've said. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching.